Good evening. Hi, I'm Kill the Bit. I'm your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And I'm back again with another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode. This is going to be Gaming Walkthrough Episode number 3. And since it's Tuesday, December 5th, I'm pretty sure you are aware that the release of the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 is now live, but it was released a day early, unexpectedly, but Rockstar Games decided to go along with it. So, if you have not seen the trailer, do me a favor and watch it. I don't know if you're hyped about it as I am, but I will tell you this. It is going to be phenomenal, and it's the fact that they're introducing the first ever female playable character in in a Grand Theft Auto game, let alone a Rockstar game. It is definitely going to reach a cultural as well as financial milestone for Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive. But, since we're continuing with Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode, do me a favor. Grab a snack, grab a drink, grab whatever. It's time for Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto 5. Type in the chat if you've already seen the trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6. I would like to know and what your thoughts about it. Are you going to get it? Because it's coming out in 2025. And this should be expected ever since last year's leaks. Okay, here we are. I might have to make some uh, frame adjustments here. so that the game will run smoothly. always need this.
going to have to restart it. Meanwhile, I'd like to take this time to ask it and to inform that if you, if this is your first time on my YouTube and Twitch channel, and if you happen to like the content, and you'd like to show me some love, why not subscribe, follow me on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel for more Let's Play classics such as Grand Theft Auto 5, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Watch Dogs, Sleeping Dogs, Mad Max, and many others. And if you would like to contribute to the channel and contribute to me, I do have a Patreon listed in the description. So let's continue on with Grand Theft Auto 5, shall we? Apologize for the, the dropping of the frame rate, so that's why I'm in game mode. So, to bring everyone up to speed with the storyline of Grand Theft Auto V, Franklin is in his new place, and Trevor, Franklin, and Michael have done a mission together where they had to abduct a potential terrorist contact believed to have been thought dead, he's been interrogated, and now I'm about to switch to, uh, I guess, Michael now. And for those who aren't aware that Ned Luke has started his YouTube channel in which he's playing Grand Theft Auto V. And he's been getting a lot of subscribers, but there's some stuff happening behind the scenes in which he unfortunately got squatted, got his address doxxed by somebody, leaked his IP address, and then he ended up having members of the SWAT team visiting his house unexpectedly and that's something cool whoever did that but anyway Ned Luke the, the actor who plays Michael in Grand Theft Auto 5 has a YouTube channel where he's actually live streaming Grand Theft Auto 5 so give his channel a look-see support him if you like I just want to make sure the music is, the lifeless music is off. Okay, yeah, it's all off. Please! So let's try to get him. So the next event is when he's at his house. And a scenario is about to unfold where. Yeah. Not to say to spoil the game that's been out for uh, 10 years already, but for some people who are new to Grand Theft Auto 5, I'm not going to give away details. I'm not going to kill it for you, or something, per se. I'm not going to kill it for you, per se. But 
But I have to mention that Grand Theft Auto 6, the trailer, the first ever trailer for it. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Never after that boat thing. Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking <laughs> fuck idiot. you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see. I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! So, he is falling out with his family, as you're about to find out. But, back to what I was saying about the trailer for God of the 6. The state... So, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Vice City, I mean, Grand Theft Auto 6 is gonna actually have an official name for the state of, instead of, since it's gonna be modeled after Miami, Florida, in the Dade County area, it's gonna be called Vice City Leonina, yeah. The state of Florida in Grand Theft Auto 6 is gonna be called, in the Grand Theft Auto universe, is gonna be called Leonina. So, just like... Los Santos San Andreas in Grand Theft Auto 5, it's gonna be called Vice City Leonida in Grand Theft Auto 6. And it's gonna be a 2025 release. So that gives people enough time to get what they need to get and get the pre orders in. So the development and the will progress then they'll actually have an official release date and it will go without a hitch because what happened last year is that there was a hacker who leaked 90 clips in the GTA forums named Teapot Uber Hacker and he's only a British kid and the London police apprehended him but I'm not sure if he's going to be officially charged if he's going to be if there's going to be a trial and if he's going to get convicted because I don't know how they do stuff in the Great Britain when it comes to this because it's it's actually digital larceny like it's really digital larceny when you think about it and that's unfortunate and it's the reason why the game is delayed plus According to Rockstar Games, that they're going to spend about $2 billion, yes, $2 billion on the development of the game. That's really unheard of in, in the video game industry. A company is willing to spend up to $2 billion on a game project, so it's got to be good. They, because they have to make sure that even when they do it, release online or whatever, that it's possibly hack proof. There's no glitches and there's no, you know, modders, I mean, who are currently messing up, making it bad for us gamers in Grand Theft Auto Online with the current version, which is, we're playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, I apologize for the stuttering frame rate again. Yep, I'm going to have to restart again. Oh, well. Here we are. Let's watch some clips.
Okay, this is much, much better. as well. So in Grand Theft Auto 5 you could actually buy property space in addition to buying things online like cars and vehicles of sorts. You could even buy marina space for 75 grand. Why not? So in this case Michael can store his boats. He can buy boats with his ill-gotten gains. You can also buy hangar space so you can fly airplanes, so you can fly planes as well because you can buy planes and helicopters but I think you have to buy a helipad for that. Now, let's get on back to the house. I'm going to complete the story sequence so I can progress through the game. And I should mention that between the three playable characters, Franklin, Michael, and Trevor, you have to finish through certain story missions in order to unlock the additional ones for like each character. For example, Trevor's going to have his story missions that are exclusive to him. So are Franklin and so are Michael. And once you get through those, more missions become available. Hey Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? Heard enough of that. So Michael is falling out with his family. Meaning he's about to lose his family. Okay, this is running smoother now. That's what I needed. So now I gotta get back to uh, the mansion. I tell you, Michael's house is nice, but so is for Franklin's is much better. And I noticed that Trevor, Trevor doesn't ever get any place luxurious because Trevor doesn't give. Personally, the character Trevor doesn't give a shit about lu luxury. That's why you don't see him in a fancy mansion. He lives in a trailer park. He lives in a mobile home out in Blaine County. And now he has taken a safe house in Floyd Herbert's house. Um, condominium or duplex or whatever. And speaking about Trevor, he is quite a character. If you've seen me in the past streams, you've seen me play as him. He's picking out of the garbage. He's He has unusual tastes. He's a tacky dresser. And I would say that he actually smells really bad, according to Michael. He's not a, one for social graces. So, we're going to save the game. This is uh, Jimmy's room, Tracy's room. my room. Michael has a wife that cheats on him whenever she can with usually younger men.
let's see if I can make this full screen. I gotta go outside where the letter starts. Okay, right here. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and we're friends. No Good. wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, the, no. The yoga is for So sure. you're about to do okay. a yoga. Come. Awesome. Oh. Yoga mini game. Oh, that. You can make me as happy. We're right of a gangster doing wife. yoga. Good job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, my girl. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribund. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes? We this guy, Fabian LaRouche, Atasana. he's a yoga instructor, whatever, guru, whatever. But I think he uses this as an opportunity to move on and to cuck men's right. wives. To cuck the men so that he can mess around with their wives. Anos. Perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Um, two, three. Yoga is perfect. Now, Michael. Uh, do any of you do yoga? Ah, look at my back. You were an athlete once. Come on. It's so simple. Come on. I did some you are an ugly man, Mikkel. Yoga. I'll punch you in your fucking face, man. In and out with the breath, Mikkel. Out through the mouth. Strength, Mikkel. Air through the nose and out the mouth. Let it out, baby. Yes. Strong. You Back told me to let it out. Nose. Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. That is okay. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. <laughs> Tadasanda or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's what I think of what man, what male suitor would do, other than Let Michael would do that to her. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Now, we 
breathes. Exhale. Tight! Tighter! You can breathe, can't you? He's got great core strength for someone who's totally rotten there. The silly man forgets to breathe. In with the breath. Try again. I think we are too late with him. You embarrass yourself, but we do not care. Again. Breathe, Mikel. An intake of air. Let it go. You feel that? Now, he breathes. Out through those wrinkled lips. He's actually trying. I can't believe it. You can breathe, can't you? Breathe in. The tone is malfunctioning. Okay, there we go. What the hell am I doing? He may be too old for this. Gonna slap the taste out your mouth, sucker. And you will try again. The silly man forgets to breathe. There! Let it go! Breathe, Mikel. Breathe, baby. Pretend there's a cigar in your mouth. <sighs> Just exhale, Michael. I'm waiting for him to turn this into one of his episodes. Now, he breathes. In through the nose. Come on. Control's messing up. Okay, there we go. How many years of marriage, and this is the first time he's taken an interest in my hobbies? It doesn't involve killing people. <laughs> you can breathe, can't you? Now, inhale. Breathe out, please. Keep this up and we might actually have a shared interest. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chaturanga. Yeah. Feel the flow. <laughs> Everything is flowing in me. <sighs> Mike, would you? I hope there is time for yoga to save you. Breathe, please, Michael. Just breathe, babe. Out with the breath. For a meat eater, it's okay. Take in the air and release it. The backward eye between your thigh. Your lungs, they work, yes? Let it out. You're turning red. Can you thank us now for saving you from the couch? Tell me you don't feel centered. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? <laughs> Breathe, please, Michael. Take a breath. Come on. Let it out. No vanity. Come on. Take in the air and release it. Out through the mouth. Your inner eye. 
<laughs> you have come a well long way out. today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Don't miss it downward, dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. A downward what? what? You say? Downward dog. Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. Back, back. Yes, there you go. Enough of that! Yoga is the answer, Mikael. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back. Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah. Jimmy, you still here? Can't have no booze, can I? I want some of this kale juice. James, fuck off! Oh yeah, Ooh. fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you like oh. it and you like that sort of shit. And oh, he's talking to the. Mom instead. Oh, he's talking to her. He's trash talking while playing that video game. Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? He actually hacked into his right. bank account to pay for it. Alright, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So now he's losing touch with his family. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Burger shot. It's actually an adult oriented term. Which means below the uh, yeah, nice to see the kids area. Still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Doesn't you know, how fat please, you are. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope smoking, game playing, live at home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you! Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly, but... Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Hello? Hello? There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, <laughs> what's man? up? What's up, man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your old dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you mean you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? <laughs> just, just hold on a second. <laughs> hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. Alrighty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? Is 
So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Coaxing him into drinking this drink. By the way, this drink is not what you think it is, because watch what's about to happen. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the Oh look, look who's what's happening. Now? Oh look, I'm tripping. I'm this is some it's some lean with some LSD now. or some type of shit. Really? This is not normal. Hello? <laughs> you should see yourself. Everything's like 2D. Oh, shit. Jim. No. I'll stop it. Oh, it was in that tunnels. Betsy's been using it for decades. What? You anesthetized me? You're fucking I'm protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. Right, you're too crazy, Dad. Come on. <laughs> Michael is on one hell of a trip. Surrounded by chips. Oh, look. You got to sh give a shout out to Rod Edge, who is the creative director. I mean, the uh, cutscene director in Grand Theft Auto 5. His um, performance is also in Grand Theft Auto 4 as the homeless man who finds the diamonds and is rich. He's, he directs these cutscenes. Oh, look at this. Hopefully the music is off. Because it's licensed, even though it's the music score. Oh, there we go. I'll have to mute this. It's like Tangerine Dream. Yeah, the music's off, but this is sequential. So we'll just have to mute it. What do you want, my so he's God, disintegrating. Twitch has content identification, so they can identify music tracks using the AI, with their AI it's database, and thus you can find out if licensed music is being used. So they get this information back to us content creators, that hey, we need to take this off, otherwise you won't monetize or you run the risk of getting copyright strikes and your channel removed. So I don't want to run into that. I can either take the, yeah, let's take the bike, the mountain bike. the A button on the controller to accelerate. Actually, you gotta press and hold. Tap. 
drive by on a bike. That's so hood. Look at my cars. In GTA Online, you can't st store cars that you steal. Because you can't put them in your garage, so you end up having to buy cars in GTA Online. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend. And then Jimmy said you took drugs while close driving Close friend, because in other words, she's fucking him. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please don't try to contact so us. So now he's losing his family. Him. His wife, his daughter, his son. Fuck. Did somebody say yoga? 63%. So I'm going to go up until uh, 8 o'clock with this stream. So now you'll go to unlockable activity along with playing tennis. And by the way, you can actually play some distractive events like sports, races, golf, tennis. Now, hello, booze. You're my only friend. Whiskey, whiskey. Those are good food. I think I'll have another. Okay. Let's so have some of that green juice. Green juice isn't that bad. I have some myself. Uh, from time to time, I'll make some protein smoothies. I'm gonna change my clothes. So my whole family has temporarily left me. Let's change my gear. Suits. It's my favorite suit. I have some sunglasses. It must be new. Jimmy took some of my money. Strangle that little shit. So I'm gonna switch to the other characters. Either Trevor or uh, Franklin. I think I'll switch to Franklin. No, no, I'll switch to Trevor.
Look at it. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye, sucker. Mm. Wash it up with a sticky bomb. Yeah. Gonna fight me? You want a party, huh? Uh-oh, they found me. Come on, tough guys, let's do that. So Trevor's special ability allows him to take less damage and do double damage. Your ass is getting cut like hamburgers, sucker. Ooh. Better take a real ride out of here. Take the next ride. To keep the gauge filled up, you gotta keep doing the damage. So you pay a small fee. Look at it. How much chump change I've got. In the real world, that's some money, but in GTA, it's not. So, we gotta go back to Floyd's place which he had taken over as a safe house. I need to go, go to the impound. So at the LS Police Department, the car is in the impound, and you have to pay a fee. Look at that. <laughs> you have to pay a fee. So it's usually $250. I'll take the sad key. This vehicle is more Trevor anyway. I'm gonna take this car in for a car wash. It's dirty.
These question marks on the map indicate strangers and freaks where you'll run into re encounter people who will ask, usually will ask a favor from you, no matter how questionable the favors might be. I'm gonna go stop here at ammunition. This one actually had she has a firing range inside, so you can practice up on your uh, marksmanship. Drug wars. So you can hear the gun fire in the back. That indicates that there's a, a firing range in the back. Find a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. A personal favorite of mine. I won't change this to pink. Trevor Phillips is described as a pansexual, where he can't decide whether he likes men or women. Yep, I'm officially out of money. So there's lots of ways to make money. Most of them being illegal. There we are, all yours. Good way to park. Let's go get a car wash. Your mother's a bitch. Or your mother's a whore. This wheel cannot be used in the car wash. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, because it doesn't clear. Oh wait, it does. That's BS. So let's go do the Trevor mission. Miss me! Oh, 
So in the previous stream of Grand Theft Auto 5 story mode, we abducted a guy just for the F to appease the FIB in the interrogating. And the interrogation sequence is of course very controversial, even for a Rockstar Games, you know, property such as Grand Theft Auto. We did everything from pulling the guy's tooth out to hitting him with a pipe wrench and even using jumper cables to get him to talk. And torture still remains controversial and for the most part unethical, especially when it comes to human rights, no matter what part of the globe you're from. even with the Freedom of Information Act, the Central Intelligence Agency, it's been revealed the methods of torture they use to get people to talk, or even to flip flip people to, or even turn them on so that they can be useful assets when it comes to intelligence and information gathering, or strategies when it comes to dealing with enemies foreign and domestic. Even the FBI, the FBI does the, did the same with two. So, this one almost reminds me of the Wonderland house. Oh yeah, look at my car. If I wanted to feel bourgeois. Get up the stairs. And Trevor is a, the Trevor. Trevor is a. Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He tried family and got kid and he's going. That, 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 that's it, right? Yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place and the fornicating? Mr. Mr. Raspberry Jam? Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam. He died a noble death. Ooh, that's a teddy bear that he masturbates with. Man. In the I eye hole. Very big penis. Some girls laugh when they when they look at it. Uh, show me. Okay. Show me. Okay. Boy. I, 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 I don't want to. Pretty <laughs> homoerotic. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right. Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Yes. Look at me! Just in case. Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> yes, I work at the docks. <clears throat> and? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Lloyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run, we got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm going to send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it. Boy, we get your dumb ass in the truck. Come on then, Floyd. What you got for me? 
like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. Uh, you're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Lord, always was a stick in the mud. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. <laughs> well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. Are you under the influence? When I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? Two hundred and thirty-six billion dollars worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside. Sir! The inside track on what's coming through. W we don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags. They don't put price tags on them. Well, have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Merryweather folks hanging around. Merryweather Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order. My butt gone The folks up. waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, <laughs> sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter. Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. Uh, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Merryweather guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. These bridges. Hey, now. Are they the only way out the port? Yep. Once you're off them, you're straight on the highway. A truck can come here, load up, and get on the blacktop, keep on going till he runs out of gas. Real poetic. What happens if an alarm's tripped? The National Office of Security Enforcement monitors the whole the area. The news, which if is Homeland Security. If something goes off in Port City, every road IRL. around here gets shut down. And no way anybody could come in or out. Go park and get the dispatch. No, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Come on, shift's about to start. So Floyd Herbert is a longshoreman. Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. <laughs> We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. It don't matter what went in his mouth, it matters what came out. You gonna take me to see this freighter? What? Yeah, it's over here. You ever got helicopters coming in and out of here? And these big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. So that is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? So we just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. <laughs> Over there, two o'clock. 
Looks like Forrest got on the wrong side of some Merryweather guys. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! Up here, okay? How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. If we don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happened when he's neck deep in shit. <laughs> Please, just don't. So we got two Those are the containers freight containers on there. B. And we got to shunt them from Bay B to Bay F. Carefully, so I got to line this up. I'm going to lose my job. Quiet down, Floyd. Relax. I've got this. And attach it. That's it. Now we got to bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers. Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I operate you under the influence if you're not careful <laughs> you gotta make sure you don't run over anybody otherwise you'll fail you'll fail the mission Oops, <laughs> I should have lowered it. <laughs> I fucked up. Let's try this again. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous, relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happened when he's neck deep in shit. They're so on to us. Floyd, I love you, but you're acting a little paranoid right now. I need it's you to hold it together. Baby. I'm gonna need for you to hold it together. Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll 
operate you under the influence if you're not careful. Now let's do it right. Line it up properly. Now we lower it safely. There it is. Now I guess we gotta get the other one. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but. Crane! Perfect! Oh, shoot! They're gonna check us. Quiet down, man. Look it up. Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Ever's old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more. You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. And she probably enjoyed it. <laughs> Okay. That is that. Up to the top of the crane for me. Let's park this. So we're approaching the last hour of this stream. I'd like to thank anyone for joining in or watching this on replay. I really appreciate it.
time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Come up onto this catwalk, then go down the ladder and into the cabin. Hi, I'm here. What do I do? Looks like you're in line. You're in position, so drop the spreader down and secure the load. She's there! Lock her on! It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. Take us to the other end. Bay number five. You got Keep it. Keep going! Keep going! Bay number five. Oh, shit. truck ease her onto it bring the container down over the truck's frame you got it They sure did their research. Get in position over the second container in Bay One. Perfect. All right, you're done. Break time. How about this view, huh? I'm going to take some photos for the kids. Don't fall. And since your characters have cell phones that are smartphones, you can actually access the in-game internet.
exciting number to run. Let's get down safely so I don't fall and fail the mission. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, She'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused <laughs> by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. The spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. <laughs> First person view. No entiendo, no understando, huh? manifesto, manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck Get do you think you're going? with her jack boots. I got confused. Mouth breathers. don't speak English. You must have read the manifesto. He said, he said, no, here. They're kicking his ass. Must be a hazing ritual. Sorry, you have to go it alone. <laughs> Make off like a bad 
get it. That ride will do just fine. Oh wait, I'll take that one. Pretty low key, but worth it. The Galavanter bomb, which is the Range Rover. Fire. Trevor, these photos. You've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Merryweather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah, of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's got to be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. Don Percival. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Merriweather at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere. I'm gonna steal that retro car. <coughs> the Picador, I think that's what it's called. Give it up. No, it's a Pagali. I think it's an Italian. Yeah, it's Italian Lampadati Pagali. It's a Maserati vehicle. Or Citroen. I think it's the Citroen or something. IRL. Change the paint job in this car, make it very retro. Yeah, it's Italian. Look how it rides like a dream. I got lifted, no doubt. One of my best sets ever. Yo, that last album when I mixed in that opera track. Yo, What's people happening? cried, man. Cried because they wanted it to end. Seriously, Backstreet Boys, it's that new Ambient Jungle Trance vibe. Uh, but it's still <laughs> what in the <laughs> name of all things holy? <laughs> I, I, I try to stop it. Raw sewage. He's covered in raw coming. sewage. <laughs> there, there, wait. <laughs> You're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> Did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. <laughs> that woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands. 
why Floyd expect her to use him so? Well, that's a low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! And? There, perfect. All right, so, based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on it's that a the container below deck. I think I can all over that ship. So it's likely Coolly they're draw. keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. We need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? To the cargo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? We'll try offshore. Offshore. Deep sea adventure. Gotta be. You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. You okay? All right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yeah. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouch for us, all right? You look at him, man. And we got the shit kicked out of him by those Merryweather Jack oh, boots. Trevor, Trevor, I, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. <laughs> Damn it, Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide? Huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bath! <laughs> Look at the places of fucking pigs die. Look at this. Eighty eight percent, not bad. Let's go save the game. I never gonna smell the same. Got twenty minutes left. In the stream. Ah, Trevor. Hey, Mikey. Hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with, Franklin. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't. It's gonna be just like old times, pal. So I think for the next stream, I'm gonna have Franklin practice his sniper skill, his marksmanship skills, and Michael to practice his flying aviation skills. I think that's what it'll be for the next stream, which possibly will be tomorrow. And um, we'll just go switch into Franklin. See what's up. I'm sorry. Sometimes it just goes up like that. It'll go down. <laughs> He's got a boner while giving while he's giving a shower given a shower by a man. Give me another.
quick switch to Franklin. I'd like to thank anyone for watching this stream, whether you're tuning in or watching this on replay. I appreciate that. Yep, I'm going to go to the shooting range. Guess I'll do a Franklin mission. Oh no, we're not going to do the... Uh, we're not going to do the... Uh, I'm going to interact with a stranger. So we're going to run into a stranger named Beverly, if you can believe it. talking about wow well, hey look i saw a quarterback lose man what a black man walking in vine would you think he clay pg sell out i think he's supposedly a 50 cent reference allegedly there's something going on in the hip-hop community and also the media that he may be bisexual or the man is not married it's his business. Leave motherfuckers alone. Well, look, I'm, I'm just saying that, that it's uh, it's the hypocrisy that I can't stand. You know, I mean, of celebrities. I mean, PG, right? He, he, he says he, he's a He's a paparazzo in and Beverly. Stuff. Beverly. And then, what, he, he loves his mother and likes show tunes. I mean, <laughs> really, what kind of message does that send in our kids? You know what I'm saying? The guy's a fraud. But why do you care, man? Well, yeah, because, you know why? Because they all think they're gods, right? Well, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's Miranda. Miranda, I love you, Miranda. Come on. Oh god, it's fucking Miranda fucking Cowan. Man, Touch look. the fucking megastar. No, no, leave me out your shit, man. Oh no, no, no. We, we can make vocal fucks here, man. We get one picture of, of her of her hairy legs or her aging muff, and we are in the money, <laughs> in the money bro. Come on. Come on, man. Oh, Come what on. The fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Let's go. You drive, I'll get the shot. Go, go. Get us right up alongside that limo. Come on, come on. Let me see the whites of her eyes. I can't stand these can't people. Can't go any faster? There's a level right there. Yeah, yeah, I got you. That's it, no prisoners. Get in it. Oh, 
Watch out for the competition. Towns in therapy. Uh oh. Kill Beverly, this one's mine. Oh no, no, it's that bottom feeder Madison. Shit, he's getting the money shots. Where's your dignity, man? Forget Miranda. We can't let him steal my exclusive. Get alongside him. I'll knock the weasel off. Competition. Stay on that bastard. Whatever you do, do not move. Oh, yeah, I downloaded your pictures to the fucking road, Madison. Now grow up and get a boy's name. Okay, buddy, let's get out of here. I'm already late for another stakeout. There's a small parking lot by the Cafe Redemption Courtyard in Morningwood. Drop me there, and you can keep the bike, because I look after my people. All right, homie. It's been an education, dog. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. The fans deserve answers. Shit, not if the question is how low is Miranda Collins muff hanging or if she getting banged out by some second-rate director. They need to know everything, from crow's feet to camel toes. <laughs> we'll, the next week. we'll continue the search for the truth. Look, don't wait around for me, homie. Oh, I'm waiting for you, homie. Oh, gosh. So I'm gonna have to, I guess, head, get some clothes. Let me get some, get some, I'm to buy some shirts and some jeans, but I think I'm good on shoes. Appreciate your business. Let's get some shoes. Or suits. Tell your friends where you got it. Thanks for shopping with us. Here you go. Thank you. Both had those turns. Take pictures, I guess. We don't have a return policy. Make 
sure you come back. Enjoy your purchase. Glad you found what you were looking for. Smelling like hotcakes. About seven minutes to the end of the stream. Shut up. You sell some. for stopping by ammunition. Oh, can't go wrong with that guy. AP pistol is nice. You can get a stun gun. I keep one of those under my pillow. Yeah, so you're likely to blow your own brains out if you put a trigger that is.
now you are prepared against government tyranny. Brass knuckles. I bet you'll be ready to use that the second you get out there. Okay, got all this. Lonely house. Going on. Oh, look at this. Fuck you very much. Boy, is she a psycho. Boy, is she a psycho. Well, I guess that just about does it for this edition of Let's Play Classic between Grand Theft Auto 5 on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And do me a favor, if you've never been to my channel, you like the content I'm providing, why not follow, like, comment, and subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel for more Let's Play Classics such as this game. I'll be back on later for another stream of Assassin's Creed Syndicate Let's Play Edition on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Game YouTube and Twitch channel. Until then, I'm Kill the Vid, and please stay safe.